developments following the damning whistleblower testimony about Facebook on Capitol Hill. The company's CEO, Mark Zuckerberg, breaking his silence tonight and defending his company. He says that accusations about Facebook putting profit over user safety are just not true. Eyewitness News reporter Jim Dolan with the full response. Facebook whistleblower Frances Haugen testified before a Senate subcommittee today describing her former employer in terms that sounded a lot more like a drug dealer than a social media app. Facebook understands that if they want to continue to grow, they have to find new users. The way they'll do that is by making sure that children establish habits before they have good self-regulation. By hooking kids. By hooking kids. And by 14 years old, she said, the habits are formed. Haugen worked at Facebook as a project manager, and while there, smuggled out thousands of internal documents. She's using them now to make a case that Facebook knows the damage it's doing and does it anyway to maximize profits. She describes a venomous, malign corporate giant with callous disregard for the welfare of its youngest users. The choices being made inside of Facebook are disastrous for our children, for our public safety, for our privacy and for our democracy. Some of the Facebook research smuggled out by Haugen was first reported in the Wall Street Journal, and it showed that Instagram, owned by Facebook, worsened body image issues for one out of three teenage girls and added to feelings of depression and, in some cases, worsened eating disorders. She misrepresented the issues that she testified about. And, you know, she didn't work on these issues at Facebook, and I think that she's uh, mischaracterized a lot of the documents that she stole. And in a letter tonight to Facebook employees, founder Mark Zuckerberg said, we care deeply about issues like safety, well-being, and mental health. It's difficult to see coverage that misrepresents our work and our motives. He said today's testimony paints a false picture of the company. Congress isn't buying it. Here's my message for Mark Zuckerberg, your time of invading our privacy, promoting toxic content, and preying on children and teens is over. Ms. Haugen is calling for greater transparency and congressional regulation of giant media companies, and Facebook acknowledged today they do need more guidance from the government. Congress today seemed in a mood to provide it.